Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Consent Narrative. We will be looking at The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. Now I have done one of her books before on this channel um, and I will be doing more. Uh, so it's very similar to her other books in like how it's set out. So you've got a beautiful apartment block, you've got your characters for the whodunit, so you've got the lonely wife, the party animal, the curtain twitcher, the secret lover, the watchful caretaker and the unwanted guest. Um, and there was a murder, but who holds the key to apartment three? Uh, so what happens is you've got Jess, the main lass. She's come over to see her brother Ben, who was staying in the apartment. Uh, she turns up quite late at night and he doesn't answer the door. So she's just kind of wondering, okay, where is he? What's going on? And she finally manages to get into this big Paris apartment, block of apartments. No one seems to want her there. Everyone's being really evasive and she can't find her brother Ben. So she's going through the streets of Paris. You know, she doesn't speak French. She's got pretty much no money to her name. Um, she was kind of coming to mooch a little bit of her brother. Uh, and she's going through and she's trying to like make friends. And she's, well, not necessarily make friends, but she's trying to figure out what happened to Ben because everything's kind of pointing to his death but or his disappearance and no one seems to care. So she does all this and she, she tries to go to the police and the police don't care and she tries to go to the journalist and the journalist is kind of like, oh, well, I don't know what you want me to do. Um, and it basically just follows her as she's interacting with these characters in the play almost. Um, and she's interacting with them and it jumps back and forth uh between the night of and what was leading up to the night of um it jumps between the different characters you've got um it jumps from different perspectives and what i love with lucy foley is it takes a while before you realize what's actually happened so for example i believe it was the guest list um that you pretty much don't even find out who's to died till really really late and you're like oh right so you can't because you don't know who's died you can't figure out who did it um and I, I i quite like that she still has her old tricks to her where it's you're reading it and you're going along and you're like oh well obviously wait okay no no so this is clearly what ha wait no so it's kind of a mixture of like who done it and like crime um and it keeps you on your toes and it's brilliantly written and to be fair when I first started reading because I know a lot of authors start doing this where they have like chapters that are deliberately designed for characters so you jump between Jess and then you'd have Sophie and then you'd have Ben and then so on and so forth and I know other authors have followed this as well and when I first came across that writing style it bothered me a little bit um but it's kind of growing on me as a writing style I, I might I'm hoping to write a book who knows I might may or may not look at that writing style but I do find that there was one character I'm not going to tell you who because I don't want to give you preconceived notions who whenever it jumped to that character's point of view I was like oh, do we have to but I mean I'm, I'm sure a lot of people get that when they're kind of reading and they go oh this guy again really like do we care but it might be a different character for each person depending on who you are. So that's why I'm not going to tell you who bothered me. Um, <laughs> just guess. Guess if you read this book and you read it all the way through and you think you know which character it was that bothered me and I just didn't care about their storyline, leave it below in the comments and I'd love to see if you're right. Um, but I would definitely recommend it. It gets a 4 out of 5 from me. I, I feel like, again, it has to be an exception exceptional book to get a five out of five and this wasn't exceptional but it was very good um, and I did find myself enjoying reading it and I enjoyed you know finding out about the characters and all the little twists and turns and following them through the little story in the apartment block and when you get the conclusion it is very satisfying you don't feel like you've been duped when sometimes you read the conclusion and go there's no way this person would have done this so that's how I feel <laughs> If you agree or disagree with anything that, I'm, that I've said, please leave it below in the comments. If there's any books that you'd like to recommend for me to read, please, again, leave it below in the comments. But thank you so much for your continued support, and remember to always keep it contento.